this matchup. So actually, he uh, is the one of the best online players. He somehow manages to get a ping of nine um, in the Atlanta server when I live just as close, maybe even closer, and I can't seem to get better than 20. <laughs> He's that good. Even his ping is good. Yeah, I think he just has a wired connection all the way to the server. And as we're saying this, he's starting off with a very good combo on Star King. Puts him off stage. Ooh. Star King answering with a combo of his own. Oh, it's the wrong direction of the forward smash, but still, I'm um, just resetting neutral, so it's not a terrible situation. Um, that nair is just a little bit risky because it just takes a long time, and then as soon as he's out, um, you have to turn around. And in that instance, Fox can, you know, poke you with a fair or just do something. Mm -hmm. Starkin doing a very good job of avoiding him down there, there. And so people think that it's a very advantageous situation if Kirby is on the platform and Fox is below. But Fox is just very quick, so he can pressure with the up airs. No, but stop. So one thing I like that Kirby's do, um, I just started implementing this, is when they're invincible, you can stay on the top or side platforms and just kind of do two jumps away with Bear, just so they can't really hit you. Mm -hmm. um, it just helps with the invulnerability instead of trying to be on ledge. <laughs> LD with the jab combos. Very, very mm -hmm. difficult to handle. Yeah, Starking trying to DI through them almost, but not quite enough. Ooh, just missed that. Bear. So Nair is actually very underused. Um, it's great at just kind of catching Fox off guard, um, kind of resetting neutral, just creating that space that you need. As I say that, there you go. And LD is so hard to edge guard. He is on edge guard. Keep it up tilt though. Going for the dares. Okay. LD avoiding the shield break there. Fox combos. Yep, just getting him off stage. It'll be very difficult for Kirby to make it back in between laser pressure. Yeah, and that's all you guys need to do versus Kirby. It's just um, kind of laser so you force them to maybe use their jumps or kind of weave around it. And just poke them with bears, forward airs, just kind of catch them off guard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe it's the tech away. Into another combo. Ooh, Ooh, again, that air. Just combo again. Good Puts way for that the other side. Great recovery by LD. Goes straight to the ledge. Ooh, standing laser. Missed input with that fox taunt right there. <laughs> More than Dark King's in a pretty bad situation off stage like yeah. this. And as you see it again. Oh, oh but LD Lord misses the wrong the direction. Way. Oh, that was actually very, very smart. So typically you'll see Kirby's down air, um, their shield the other way, so they'll stay on the platforms, but mm -hmm. Starking chose to up tilt so Fox is off, and then just followed him with a dare. Mm -hmm. Ooh, still has the invincibility very on that there. back air. And up smash with the go. I can do it after this, it's fine. Okay, yeah. I'll come get you. I don't want to hog the mic anyway, so... Yeah, after the set, I'll actually hop out. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, game two with LD taking the first game. However, Starkin was able to bring it back from that 3-1 deficit for a bit. So we'll see if he's able to uh, adapt to LD's playstyle. Oh, so okay. He waited so he for the shield to, to be trapped jab. and then tried to start a combo again rather than going for the shield oh, break. Oh, so LD tried to recover and very just, close to stage. Yeah. Very Starkin difficult. going very deep for that kill and then that was a zero to death, not taking on a single hit. Oh, good roll. So that that's very difficult um, because Kirby can't really do anything out of shield very quickly. Um, something that Fukuru did a lot is he nared out of shield and that's probably one of your best options, but... LD Fox, just so good at poking that it's so difficult. Showing off some tech skill there. Oh, and we got there. Great single hit up there. Down to the there. Combo. Okay. Something a little bit of tech club there, but still able to get it. 
Starking a little too far. He's going to try to recover low. Yeah, nothing and that he can down do there. smash connects so low. Starking trying to DI into the ledge, but instead gets the hit off the stage towards the bottom and getting stage spiked. Oh! Oh! Ooh, not a good spot for LD to be in. If he's that Great close. job with Starking. I want to say he almost baited that out. Starking? Mm -hmm. yeah. To make LD kind of recover, he threw out a. Oh, great combo. The top he platform. brought Ariel to kind of make LD dodge, and so then he still had to up E because he was off stage. And very even if smart. LD drops lower, it's still very easy for Star King to just wait with the down air. Exactly. The grab. Mm -hmm. Tough spot for Star King. Yeah, just get the dare. Oh, wow. <laughs> A little bit of style there. Yep. LD very, going very good, deep though. under the stage to finish that sock off. So one thing... Yes. You won a match before this, right? Yeah, yeah, you're a winner since. Starting making sure that this is winners so that he's able to move on if he loses the set. So one thing for Kirby mains to do, if you're kind of watching Starking right now, um, it's very easy for Kirby's to get caught with down airs, down tilts, stuck in jab pressure, but you haven't really seen that too much um, with Starking. And the reason being is he's very on his toes, he's moving quickly, um, just kind of, <laughs> as I say, that gets caught by a down tilt. Wow, great combo. And the up smash will even kill on the side plat as early as 75. We saw it on the top platform last game, I wasn't sure how low that could work. Mm -hmm. LD probably knows the percents. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, tries to get the reverse bear into the cutter spike. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great ledge cancels. So Star King choosing to do a late bear, trying to catch him out of shield, but not able to do it. Below stage. <sighs> LD giving <laughs> up his own stock the there for the style. Okay. Love a good shine spike. Oh, yeah. LD is just very good with his lasers, and you think, you know, I want to say he's doing this on purpose, but his lasers aren't always consistently the same um, short hot double laser. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll mix it up with different um, heights. Yeah. He'll do a single laser. Very, very good. Yeah, it makes it much harder for Star King to weave around them, exactly. as we saw him doing off stage a little bit. And All a right, great there you shield go. break by Star King. Let's see what he does. Up tilt, of course. Get him off stage. Oh, oh. I think he was going for a momentum shield drop. Yeah. Just for the nair. Unfortunately, drops it, allowing LD to recover back. Yeah. So again, Kirby was stuck in shield. Not much he can do. And there that'll be it. LD taking the last stock down there. Shine. And I'm gonna hop off the mic. I'm gonna give it over to protagonist. And yeah. Thanks Thank later. Commentator water? That's just gross. We need some commentator water. Some, uh, commentary <laughs> no. accommodations, please. Are these people in the same region? Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. They're both from PA. Uh, PA made actually a great show today. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, particularly in the last like year, year and a half. PA has had a really, yes, really big improvement in general. And I'm not that active in the scene, but I know some big names, you know, in the whole scene. And I've mm. never heard of these guys last year. Mm. And all of a sudden you see them, you know, taking sets off Hero. They're doing very well in top eight here. So, yeah, yeah you don't need to have these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just <laughs> noticed. <laughs> but yeah, PA made a great showing. I lost the video in my...